Welcome to the world of ventriloquism. JJ, can I use for can I use you for a minute? Basically, right here we have a few of the most influential ventriloquists on the board. Number one, we have the first ever known ventriloquist, Mr. Louis Brabant, French ventriloquist from France, of course. And then we have right here, very famous ventriloquist. Anybody ever heard of American actor Candace Bergen? This is her father, Edgar Bergen, and his and his puppet, Charlie McAfee. Ali looks like Slappy. Oh yeah, also, fun fact. First rule of ventriloquism is that your puppet is always alive. I hate that rule. I hate it. But basically, right here we have a few diagrams of, of ventriloquism. Right here we have the diagram of the head of in inside of a wooden puppet. We have the wood block and the coil spring, which allows for when they put their hand inside of the puppet for them to be able to control the mouth. And right here we have a diagram of the mouth showing, showing the most important key details of ventriloquism, such as your vocal cords. So then you can change your voice from my voice to JJ's voice. And you also have to be able to control your lips and your teeth. So you can go from this to this. Next, we have a few... Nay, a few famous ventriloquists, such as Darcy Lynn Farmer, very, very famous uh, American ventriloquist and singer, and one of my favorites, Jeff Dunham. One of my favorite puppets is the skeleton over here, Ackerman, the dead terrorist, according, nay, according to Wikipedia. And right here, I really don't know his name, but based off what I've researched, basically he uses his puppet to call out racism and injustice. And so as you can see in the craft of ventriloquism, there are many key details, such as being able to control your lips so that you can, so that you can act as the puppet, which is this diagram right here. This diagram shows how the puppet is the, the puppet looks like it's the source of speech. It's your perception. It's also the visual cue, cue of speech, whereas, the actual ventriloquists themselves is the auditorial cue so that so that i can go like this instead of just being like this and in conclusion the craft of ventriloquism there's many different parts to it very complicated parts and i really hope you enjoyed this board Awesome. So my, I'm going to ask a couple questions while Miles gets his mouth. Well, no. Um, yeah, so he, he's got to ask the question first. Uh -oh. So what brought you to the idea of doing your project on French and Well, it all started during winter break, where I was doing one of my favorite things of all time. Going on YouTube to find acts on America's Got Talent and watch, and watch Simon Cowell just and they criticize every every single detail. And did you run up on the Darcy's girl that won it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's how I found out about ventriloquism. Did you have her on the picture there? Mm-hmm. And um, because I sent your picture of you and JJ to Dr. Rossi, that's why they came up here. Oh. And um, Dr. Neil wanted to know if you um, knew about the ABC girl. I oh yes. Does, and turn up, <laughs> All right, thank you. Grab your mic, and then, um, sorry, you care to each person have them stand in and take a photo? Close by there, okay. Yeah, don't take the board down to be taking the photo. Can I help take the